me, Flippy, and today I am back at it with another one of those little series where I just like show you five Dunceptions. But this time, instead of just a regular old Dunception, I'm going to be showing you some bed designs. So beds do not exist in Animal Jam. There are no like beds that are sold in stores, so you can make your own if you want by using lots of fun materials and be creative. And that's what I've done for you guys today. I have created six new bed designs. <laughs> If you look in the corners of the room that I'm filming in, you can probably get a little sneak peek of some of them. Cover your eyes, don't spoil the fun. I also have some little speed ends at each of the little inceptions, so this is going to be a very fun video. Tune in for lots of fun. So let's go ahead and check out the first design. How about that? Two hours later. Here we are. So this is the bed right here. I used some mats on cafe tables, and then I used this wood chair, and then I put some pillows and then a mat. The layering is horrible, so be careful about that. But other than that, there's just some little stuff surrounding it, and that doesn't really matter for now. The main point is that there's this bed, and then I used this little headboard here. This is not my favorite, but it is a pretty rad one, so. This next one is probably one of my favorites. I just like love it because the mattress is so like fluffy and unique. I use these little frosting icicles to form a mattress and then I just put this one like the opposite direction to make it like a little pillow and then some wood snowy fences there and those are super rare items like so if you want you can probably substitute it with like another type of fence and then I use some other snowy items. A dresser and all that stuff you don't really care about that but moving on. As I head up this swirly staircase. one it has a straw room when I did a red influence there's a straw table with some straw chairs right here and a table with some table with the rug is gone what oh my gosh just with one click of the mouse the rug is just gone forever it's bow time I put this like hip Jamal Waller very hip and then some shoji screens very chic with some hip and chic red bows and some chic pillows with a hip sofa pretty rad Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Over here, I have a loft. You can figure out your own way to make a staircase. You could just like remove this here and then use some more shelves to make a staircase down there. But I didn't want to decorate all that, so I just gave up because I'm lazy. I put these curtains up here and you can really do whatever you want with them. I have these little twin beds. There's this little tree stump chair here, and you just shove it into like a nice, cute little like twin bed headboard. Shove it in. Some tall tiki tables would actually work really well as like some little like supports. Moving on to the next one. Oh. This one is probably my favorite out of all of them. I think I just said that about like, the snow one, so who knows. Here is this one. It's really big, and basically what you do is you get this big wood couch. And Graham's Workshop is currently available for play, so you can get all these fun items. You can get past the fact that there's like a frightening monkey with these terrifying goggles. Like and then you get these little step ladders, and then you put them underneath the mat. You just need five of them. Well, actually, you might need more if you want to do this side, but I didn't have any, so I just used this like wood chest and this like wood jewelry. This. Okay, I'm dying. Two hours later. This wood jewel, jewel, I cannot pronounce that. Jewel, jewelry, jewel, jewel, jewelry, jewel, jewelry, jewelry, jewel, wood jewelry box. I cannot say that. There's your coffee table, cafe tables over here with a little fish, fish bowl and a lamp and another lamp. And yeah, you can take that to your den as long as you credit me. Here is the final bedroom design.
This one's very tropical, and I have to say I did not make this one up. It is credited by Lucy Fluffy Gen Decor. The main focal point, once again, is that I use these two tiki lawn chairs, and these backwards tiki chairs, you can put at the end of it, and it makes it have this really nice bed shape. And then I added a, wo a woven shoji screen to make a headboard. It's also optional once again. But that sadly is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment which of these bed designs was your favorite. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye!